welcome back to What Arty Nibs with General Disturbance. This is a Lefi, the 105FH18B2, otherwise known as Fifi La Pew Pew. It's uh, located on the North Spawn Events Encounter and it's under the command of Wasp69. Battle started. Well, this Arty is basically a heavy tank in disguise. It's a 105 millimeter light field howitzer mounted on top of a char b1 and this is a heavy tank with quite a punch as well 410 alpha and a very quick reload indeed in fact he's found the enemy rt straight away he's fired around on him oh and that gw panther went down very quickly without him hitting it because an ikv 103 put him out of his misery <laughs> okay we fired around on the t1 and looks like we've got a hit on him, but he was unspotted at the time the shell went in. Okay, lining up a shot on the Crusader, just missed. Going for the T-71 instead. Rounds out. Direct hit. Now he's got a reload time about 8 seconds at the moment. It looks like 8 seconds. Can't tell you precisely, but he's trying to go for that T-40. This is a tier 7 game, which is the highest tier that a VP can appear in. And he hit that target. The T-40 was definitely touched, but he's lost sight of it now. Sherman 3, tier 5 medium. Line up the shot, waiting for the reload to go through. Dials in as fast as it fires. Up, oh, he's gone. Okay, we're running out of targets in the field to shoot at. Most of them are hiding. There's the sh Sherman again. Dialing in, marks the target, lets the team know where he's aiming. Rounds out. Oh, and the target goes down just after the shell was fired. So he loses that chance to get another kill. There's the Cromwell. Rounds out on him. Lands just behind him for 30. He's now looking towards the town because there are a couple of enemy tanks close by. There's a Cromwell there. And the enemy still has two RT out, out there somewhere. He doesn't want to get hit by them. One's a gorilla, the other one's an M44. So he's going after that Cromwell so he can take out the spotter. And he gets the first kill. 301 hit points on the Cromwell. That must have been a penetrating round right into his rear. The alpha damage on this gun is 410, if I remember. You said? I did say that. Let's go to T40. Round out. Oh, that one bounced off the armor. He's so lucky to be alive. And there's one of the enemy RTs now. The, the M44 is low hit points. Oh, and... Well, he's gone behind that brick wall. But he's only got three hit points left. So a near miss is going to take him out. Okay, we've got another tank close to us. A VK3012 d now. Now that's the Panther prototype. Rounds out. Well, he got a hit. And the 3002D is now being engaged, but it looks like the enemy have worked out where he is and they're firing in this direction because that was a shell from one of the enemies. Now he can't see us at the moment, so I suspect that what's actually happened is the enemy's firing blind. But we do have a couple of enemy tanks over there. There's a T3485. He's dialing in accurately because he's got to fire past that chimney. And unfortunately, he doesn't get the hit. As you notice, when he scrolls out, sometimes he gets a red line. That's because there's an obstruction in the way. And it's sometimes these little telegraph poles at this, this end of the field. They can actually obstruct the field of fire, would you believe it? Okay, it doesn't appear to be many enemies close by that he can shoot at, other than this Crusader. Dialing in. Mark target. And he pulls back into cover. The good news is that there aren't many enemies in the town and we've got a Type 58 and the P43 Tur about to come out of the town on the other side so they should be able to spot where the enemy RT has gone. They're making their way east. We fire one round in. There's the Cromwell again. We can't hit him. He's behind the building. There's the IKB. We can hit him for sure. Mark the target and lining him up. Should be perfect. Rounds out. Good hit. 427. That was a penetrating round. Now he's trying to decide which one he goes for next. It's going to be the 
Let's go to T40. He's low on hit points, but we have been seen. Rounds out. Kill shot. 13 hit points. We need to pull back and change position. RT will be after us, and the Crusader is firing at us. We've also aimed onto him and take him out of the game. That's our third kill. But we're having to move again because RT might be firing at us. There's still two enemy RT in the game. Cromwell's headed this way, and he's firing at us. Auto aimed on and take him out. 196 hit points. I suspect that was a penetrating round on the Cromwell. But he's moving as quickly as he can to get out of the position. It's because the enemy probably knows where he is. In fact, there's a gorilla nearby who must almost be in with, within view range of him. But he's just hiding behind that wall at the moment. Now, we could drive down there and shoot him. That would probably be the easiest thing to do, but it looks like he might come out of cover anyway. Now, there's only that gorilla left alive and this T-3485. If we can get both of them, that's a top gun. Lining up the shot on T-3485. The gorilla's been killed, so top gun's out of the question now. But if we can get a shot into this T-34, rounds out. Just missed him. He's moving between the buildings. Type T-34 went in. He's been satellite. This is bad news. We fire around at the T-34. Get a good hit. 162. And he's a one shot. And he's gone. That's it. They won the game. Wow, that was frantic towards the end. <laughs> Let's have a look at the end of battle stats for that one. It's an ace tanker for Whoop 69 in the 105 Lef H18B2. He managed to get a fighter badge and a bruiser medal from that battle. And he also picked up a Starks medal because he managed to get at least two kills, lost two thirds of his hit points, received two shots from the enemy and was still alive at the end of it. And the Starks medal are difficult to get. So fantastic game there. Win eight of 6,222. And I think some of that was helped not only by the fact that he was pumping out the rounds as fast as he could, but also that he was in a tier seven game. So he's hitting higher tier opponents and therefore it's easier to earn much more in the way of XP. Let's have a look at team scores. Well, there you go. He didn't get the highest damage. T3485M got the highest damage. That one right at the end. 2,063 hit points to him. 1,994 goes to Wasp69. Oh, that's so, such a pity. He missed out by 69 hit points. Would you believe it? Uh, well, anyway, if he got... One more shot on that uh, T-3485 or one shot on the Gorilla. I think he might have surpassed that and possibly even got a Top Gun as well. When it came to kills, though, he did get the highest number. He got four kills. The Type T-34 got three. And then the next highest scorers only had two kills apiece. The Type T-34 got a Leather Slayers. The P-43 Tur got a Pescucci's. And the P Panzer T-25 got a Confederate. And when it came to base XP, yes, he was easily at the top. He was tier 5 in a tier 7 game, so he was earning much more XP from every shot he was firing at a higher tier opponent. 790 base XP to the Type T34, and 674 goes to the Chaffee. He fired 22 rounds in that game, got 10 direct hits and 4 penetrations, damage, splash damage on 7, Damage of 1,994 hit points, of which 1,175 were at more than 300 meters. He received three hits. Two were penetrations, one non-penetrations. A couple of them came from that Cromwell. And he also blocked damage of 135 hit points. Damaged nine of the enemy, killed four of them, and did 67 hit points of damage assistance. On a premium count, he earned 46,658 credits, and he got 50,000 credits. That's from the Veni Vidi Vici, and so his total came to 96,658. After repair and ammunition resupply, he took away 93,238 credits. He received three bonds for getting the awards, uh, the Starks Medal, and he also picked up 1,531 XP, times four for the first victory of the day, and 613 because this is a premium vehicle, so he took away 6,739 experience points altogether. So a very good round there for Wasp69, Ace Tanker and Starks Medal. It's difficult enough to get the Ace Tanker in the Fifi, but getting the Starks Medal as well, well, 
I suppose actually it is fairly easy for you to get a Starks medal in a Fifi because they do tend to get attacked by enemy tanks with frequency. Normally it's light tanks who attack you and they try to ram you and uh, bounce into you and die in, in the process. You know, bugs on the windshield. But uh, uh, getting a Starks medal like this in a higher tier game is very, very dangerous indeed. So well done there to Wasp69. If you enjoyed this replay, please give this video a like, do subscribe to our channel and hit that notification button so that you get alerted when we put a new video up. We do try to put four videos up a day if we can and there's plenty of variety in there. RT replays, TDs, tanks, you name it, we'll do them all. So thanks very much for watching.